Welcome to my unboxing of the 14th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Now, I know that I am a little bit late to the party, about four days late, I think to be exact, and that's because for some reason DHL has massive issues delivering to the North. I can't explain it, you probably can't explain it, the only people that can is DHL. And I think I'm over a week late when it comes to people like Batman March, who got one incredibly early due to their character options deal, which, by the way, character options, please hit me up for one of these. I would love to review your products for free. But then again, wouldn't everyone? But anyway, on to the product, and here we have it, the 14th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver, with the brand new diamond logo at the top in the diamond variant for the 60 years, with light and sound, and the opening extending emitter. This is, as it says, the online exclusive version of the Sonic Screwdriver, meaning we have this lovely chrome finish over the top. Now, one thing you'll notice is this. I can touch it directly from the box. I don't know if the retail one will be like this, because I assume these store employees will be incredibly annoyed, but this is because of the recyclability, because the blister recycle and the box recycle, which is the box, and I assume that this plastic bit is the blister. To reduce that, we've got a much more recyclable Sonic, and this is the going for all of the B&M products that Character Options are releasing, which is honestly a step in the right direction. Really, really good. Let's have a look at the back. So the back, of course, got Character Options, who made it. Screwdriver at the top which, as you can see there and there, it's cut off a bit. So there it's not cut off, there it is cut off. And of course, 14th Doctor, who is, just like the 10th Doctor, is an intriguing mixture of apparent opposites. An extraordinary mix of kindness and sensitivity, but also someone who gives no second chances and who can be alien, detached and even vengeful, but never cruel. Time will tell how this Doctor will respond to the universe around him. It always does. As we know, that's true. There's always as always, a bit of information on the back on how to change the batteries. But that is not what we're here for, is it? We are here to have a look on the inside. So let's unbox it. And here we have it, the brand new Sonic Screwdriver. Now, I thought just as a bit of comparison, I'd bring in some of the older models that I own, so we can kind of see some of the similarities between them. So there we have the 11th Doctors, the 10th Doctors. Now, the 11th Doctors one, by the way, this is incredibly old. This is like 13 years old now, so it is incredibly battered, but don't mind that. And the laser screwdriver. So I thought when it came to similarities with the 11th Doctors, of course, you have the classic extending, but you also have the leather, the plastic leather on there, which has been copied on here. And there's also kind of like a, bot a bottom button which is not a button, it's actually a screw. That is indeed very similar to here. And of course, 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, very similar just in fact of the extending features, the chrome at the end, and the LED being blue. Very similar. And also very, very loud, this one. I think it's the 50th anniversary variant. And then there's the laser screwdriver. Now I know what you're thinking, laser screwdriver? This is something that I think really only I've noticed. I mean, other people have definitely noticed it, but when it comes to on Twitter and stuff, not many people have been pointing this out. So this end bit, it can rotate. Now, it doesn't feel like it should do that. That clicking sound is not right. But apparently this is just changing the settings, which is incredibly similar to the isomorphic controls at the bottom here. Yeah, just something I thought that I'd noticed and not many other people had but onto the actual Sonic itself. So, what I think is brilliant about this one is the start-up and ending sounds. So it starts up, then goes straight into it, and then finishes. And also we have, I think there's a bit of plastic there. Yeah, there's a bit of sellotape on the top of there. I'll just quickly remove that. There I don't. This thing can extend. That is incredibly loose. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's just a tad bit different to such as the 10th Doctor's Sonic, where it kind of stays in the end. I mean, of course this one stays in the end, but it's a lot more tense, more difficult. And of course the end of the pen always falls off because it's just ridiculous. But that is wonderful, absolutely fantastic. There is also another feature which has been featured on Twitter. now. 
I don't particularly want to break this. Oh, there we go. Apparently, there are different colours. Someone was claiming that they found a purple colour, which they did, but apparently this has just been debunked as just a problem with the emitters. So, if we hold that down, is that meant to do something? Oh, and also the main button. No? Don't want to work? Oh. oh, okay. Jesus, that's loud. Now it's in red. And it's also incredible. That is really, really noisy. Pull it down again. Is that... Is that doing anything? Right. That's the reset to blue. And then... Okay. Why is the end of the middle not working now? Or not working as well? That is really, really loud. That is horrid. Wow. Yeah, reset that. How do we reset that? Just like that? There we go. Right. Hello, this is Post Video Dre coming to you because I noticed while fiddling around there's actually another feature which is like a muffled yellow which it seems to be malfunctioning a bit quite a cool addition i thought i'd just throw this in honestly just as a noise factor we'll put this back on i think i'm just gonna keep this as oh there we go right keep this as blue one i like the look of that a lot better and it is so incredibly noisy like for a comparison those are about the same the red one that seems a lot more like the Tense Doctors, which is just super, super loud. It's not supposed to be that loud. Anyway, yes, that is the main body. We've also got a bit of detailing there with the Gallifrey symbol. And if we fully extend it out, there's like little roundel type lights there. Really lovely. I love that texture. Someone at the end also used sandpaper on the end emitter and it made it more cloudy, and I thought that looked fantastic. Might try to do the same, but then again, do I want to risk breaking a £30 Sonic or ruining it in any way? Um, maybe not really. I sat there for like five hours trying to get this thing. Honestly, that was not a good weekend. But I did get it in the end, after four days of waiting compared to everyone else. Because on Twitter, everyone's blown up saying, oh, I got my new Sonic, got my new Sonic. And I'm sitting there waiting like, I don't know. Guess they don't like the North as much. Yeah. That is the 14th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, and I am very, very glad to have it. One final detail, though. Loving that cracked aesthetic. It is just like the 10th Doctor's, but nicer. I also have one final announcement to make, but this is not Sonic Screwdriver related, so if you only came for the review, you can leave now and do whatever. I'm currently working on a series which I've been working on for a long, long time, since the beginning of my channel. So afterwards I thought, what am I supposed to do after that? And I've decided to take on the EDAs, the Eighth Doctor Adventures, starting with the Eight Doctors. I recently got into these. Um, I bought the first 11 books and Unnatural History, which I think is like 23. So I have uh, 12 of the books so far. Very, very expensive. I do not recommend anyone does this, especially Vampire Science. That thing sent me about like 40 quid. But yeah, I will eventually be one day reviewing the ADAs, and this is going to be such a massive undertaking, and I cannot wait for it because these books are just incredible. But anyway, if you enjoyed watching this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below for more videos in the future. And also watch out for my series in November. This is the first time that I'm teasing it properly. Apart from a few teasers ages ago, but I'll reveal that a bit closer towards it. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Awesome. <laughs>